Hi again, I'm Pearl Skeltema, the CEO of Fatsan Estates. I'm going to talk about a topic that is not much talked about. Let's address this. I want to start off by saying I read a very interesting article recently that was posted by Media24. This is based on a publication by Nushreen Kaut way back in June 2006. What is this article all about? The heading of the article is cartels in sectional title or cartelism in sectional title. What Nushreen did with the article is to say that maybe developers, managing agents, trustees, service providers are all in cahoots. He directed a very stern warning to sectional title members to say, be vigilant, ask questions, don't just accept anything for granted. Get involved in the management of your scheme. So, let me put your mind at ease just for a while. Our industry has developed much since. We've grown, we have improved legislation, and I specifically want to refer you to Section 8 of the Sectional Title Schemes Management Act, Act 8 of 2011, with the heading Fiduciary Position of Trustees. Trustees, scheme executives, one and the same thing. I am just going to quote a portion thereof. Trustees may not direct or indirect benefit by the awarding of contracts on behalf of a body corporate. They have to act honestly and in good faith. Two big words. Is this happening at your scheme? I hope so. Furthermore, they must avoid any material conflict between themselves and those of the body corporate. The Act is very explicit in this. So, I'm being unpopular by bringing this to your attention. Developers are no longer, or in most circumstances, no longer uh, involved in the management of schemes. They develop, they sell off all the units, and then they disappear. It becomes a body corporate managed by trustees, obviously with the assistance of a managing agent. Managing agents are regulated by at least three bodies, being the Estate Agencies Affairs Board, NAMA, National Association of Managing Agents, and of course CSOS, the Community Schemes Ombud Service. Trustees are the ones you need to look at. The old legislation, that would be Act 95 of 1986, their management rules said the following, a trust, when electing trustees, a trustee does not have to be an owner, but the majority of owners have to be trustees. I like that rule. Unfortunately, with the new legislation, it was changed to the following, a trustee does not have to be an owner, and there it stops. So anyone can be a trustee. The only parties excluded from being elected as a trustee is the managing agent, an employee of the managing agent, or an employee of the body corporate. But if any of those three parties are indeed a registered member, they can be elected as a trustee. So they have to own property in your scheme to be elected as trustee. If that is not the case, these three parties, managing agents, employee of managing agent, employee of body corporate, cannot be elected trustee. In practice, the following happens at meetings. We arrive as managing agents at an annual general meeting. We receive a nomination from an unknown person, a non-member, non-registered member of the body corporate. Let's call him Mr. X. He's being nominated, he arrives at the meeting, represented uh, with a proxy of another member that could not attend. He is elected as a trustee, and at the very first trustee meeting, suggestions he's made to either change the managing agent or service providers, and the body corporate obliged because they think it could be to their interest. Two weeks later, at another body corporate, at another venue, Mr. X arrives again with exactly the same modus operandi. He has a proxy of a registered owner. He's being elected as a trustee, and at the very first trustee meeting, exactly the same thing happens. And guess what? 
exactly the same service providers are recommended. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time for you as registered members not only to be knowledgeable about the Act, but to get involved in the management of your scheme in order to protect your own interest. There, I've said it. Thank you so much for listening. We will talk again soon.